Welcome back to our lesson in using uh, Git and version control. So in the last video, uh, we looked at how to install Git, um, how to check which version of Git is installed, and of course, how to configure Git. We also did our first uh, commit, um, and so we learned about uh, Git init, to initialize a local repository and we learn how to use git add to actually uh, notify go that we want to uh, start keeping track of our directory and then of course we learn about git commit whereby we created that snapshot uh, so we have our code sort of frozen in history so in this video i want us to uh, look at a few other commands that are quite useful. So I went ahead and I uh, created a function called increment. Um, very basic function. It accepts an int and it returns an int. And all it does is to increment the int by one. Okay. And here I create a variable num1 of type int. It has three as its value, and then I call the function with that num1, and the result I print. So if I were to run this, um, we would see that we get 4, which of course uh, is correct. So I want to notify uh, Git, I want to tell Git that um, I would like for the changes I made uh, for Git to start uh, observing them to start tracking them okay so one key command that we use uh, is git status okay and this command actually informs us uh, about our code so it's telling me that i modified main that go okay uh, our, it's also telling me that no changes were added to commit. And it's telling me there are some changes not staged for commit. So what does that mean? It simply means that as far as, go, as, far as uh, Git is concerned, these changes I just made, if I were to do a Git commit, those changes would not be uh, saved. Okay, Go would not create a snapshot of those changes. So what I have to do, I have to stage, okay, and that's the word I'm going to use, I have to stage whatever changes I made to my existing program. Okay, so main.go, notice it says modified. And so now I have to stage my changes. I have to tell go that these are my changes and I want you to track them for me. All right, and so to do that, you have to then say git add, okay? And so whenever you say git add, let's add um, main.go and let's add um, go.mod, okay? And when I press enter, now, if I do git status again, okay? It now tells me that changes to be committed. And so it says that they are staged. Okay, so they are now staged. Simply means that when I do a git commit, then that new code will be a part of that snapshot. Okay? All right. So what if I decided to create a new file? So let's say I decided to create a new file, a readme say read me okay okay and let's see what git status tells me okay so notice it tells me i have an untracked file okay notice the difference between untracked file versus uh changes not staged for commit you will see this message when 
you already have a file that you have been working on okay however if you introduce a new file to your project then git will simply say you have an untracked file okay and then it tells you if you want to include or if you want git to track this file then you got you have to add it okay you've got to add it so uh, remember the difference if you already have a file that you have already been tracking then if you make a change to that file it will say modified and it will tell you not staged versus if you create a new file or you introduce a new file then that will be an untracked file in any case what we have to do is to then say uh, git add and let's uh, instead of having to put git add readme and git add um, main that go and git add go that mod i'm just going to say git add everything okay and now let me uh do git status again okay and so it tells me that i have a new file readme and i have a modified file main that go and when i do a git commit those files will create my new snapshot So I will simply say <coughs> git commit and a message and I will say uh, added the increment function. All right. Uh, say enter. All right. And it tells me that the uh, two files were changed, seven insertions meaning I included seven lines of code all right and so if I say git status it tells me there's nothing to commit and I have a working tree that's clean meaning there's nothing on tracked there's nothing that is not staged and so uh, git has giving me a clean slate and it's waiting for me to make more changes right and so this is the, the process that we go through we 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 write some code okay and then uh, once we're happy with our code once we have tested our code then we we commit those changes and then we repeat okay and that's the way we build up on the on our project little by little little by little and we know that our changes are being tracked so if we have to go back <coughs> we can do that now let me introduce uh, the git log command okay so let me clear my screen git log okay and what this command does is give me a history of the changes that i committed so notice um it's telling me that on uh well it will show the recent one first so if i come down here all right it will tell me that it was an initial commit that was a commit message and i made that initial commit at 2 49 pm and then i made another commit at uh 3 5 pm okay so notice it goes from uh, the oldest commit to the most recent commit and notice it gives me a uh, a sort of a key okay but we'll talk about this uh, a little bit later it talks about a head where the head is pointing so um, all I'm going to say is we can move the head to point other places but we will not do that until we get to the idea of a branch okay so for now um, all i want you to know is that the git log command allows you to see a history of your commits and later on we will see how we can easily uh, go back or revert to one of these where we can see the code as it was all right so in this lesson we learned about git status um, we learned about git log and by the way if you don't want to see all of this information uh, you can simply say 
get log and then you can use the dash dash one line and this simply gives you sort of a summary of every uh, commit all right so all it says right notice the number has been shortened all right and so uh, we have that initial commit and then we have head pointing to main and then this was the last commit we did so if you just want to see a quick rundown you just simply use the dash dash one line uh, argument or option to the log uh, command we also learned about um, what is the difference between an untracked file right which is a file you introduce into your project that uh, git doesn't know about compared to files that are untracked whereby um, they have been modified uh, git knows about them and so it's telling you that those files need to be uh, committed or staged to be committed so that uh, the changes can be reflected and git can make a snapshot of that particular instance in moment uh, particular instance in time all right so i hope uh, that made sense um, of course there's a lot of uh, documentation which i'll be pointing you to uh, but that's this is just a bit this is the general idea of how to do a commit how to check the commit and how to see uh, what step you're at in terms of the commit stage on on stage track on track and so on all right but of course we'll see more of this uh, and so by the time we finish this entire introduction to git uh, you will be comfortable with uh, using git so i'll see you in the next uh, video